So hi everyone, it's Dave Cool. And Call to Exist. The game at this point is definitely calling to exist for sure. Man, I've been waiting to play Tokyo Ghoul based video game for consoles for the longest time. Forget those mobile games. I want to play a real game. I'm just messing around by the way. I'll let you know, I am a big fan of Naruto. But that you already know. I am a big fan of Naruto based games such as the Ultimate Ninja series for the PS2 and the following reboots, the Storm series. But for the sake of this video, I'll be highlighting these last ones because, unlike most Bandai distributed anime based games that have come out in the past couple of years, the Storm games have been not only the exception, but also set the example on how to make a good anime based video game. When the official first look at Tokyo Ghoul Recall to Exist first came into the scene, I was beyond excited, as you might imagine. <laughs> we were finally getting a Tokyo Ghoul game for consoles. The graphics, despite being stated as work in progress, to me looked pretty solid. The Kagune action and gameplay in general was flashy and fluid, unlike most other anime game properties where the fighting mechanics were clunky and lacked any fluidity and visual flair to them. That's what the Naruto Storm games did right. Despite the simple button smashing, you still had a lot of fun playing because of how smooth and pleasant it was to actually play. Also, the graphics actually looked polished at the same time, being faithful to the original series look and feel. But I guess the thing I was most excited about, and maybe I'm at fault here because I set to myself these early expectations before more details about the game were revealed. What I really wanted from this game or for a Tokyo Ghoul video game in general, was a good single-player story mode that adapted the original story of its source material. One that, like the Storm games, was as faithful and passionate about, again, its source material, and could offer as the fans an experience wor worth the price of admission. And for a while, that's what I thought officially was going to happen. But regardless, a certain thing happened that set all of that aside. The game got delayed! What was supposed to be a late 2018 release ended up being pushed further to... That's the thing nobody knows. <laughs> like I said, this was a game I was really looking for. So I would have waited and understood why the delay. After all, a game that only months before its actual release date is shown actual footage that on top of that is still not finished. Right there, it was to be expected some red flags. But once more, since 2018 was the year where Tokyo Ghoul was the most prevalent inside of the community due to both the Tokyo Ghoul re manga and Tokyo Ghoul re anime finally reaching their conclusion, of course Bandai would want this game to be released in the same time frame in order to capitalize on the hype surrounding the property for its maximum profit. But what also became clear was that the actual game was not ready to come out in such short notice. The team behind the project needed more time to actually finish the game, so it got delayed. And that I can respect. That's how it should be. Games should actually be finished with proper care and time if we players, the ones who plan to spend our own money to buy them, do so for the full price of admission. But the problem with this whole situation regarding Call to Exist was that not only I and many other fans were promised to get the game at the end of last year, seeing all this promotional material setting up that, I mean, we even got an official cover image for its physical copy. In the grand scheme of things, we were actually told nothing about it. <laughs> at the end of the day, what do we know about this game? At first I thought there would be an online and single player versions embedded in the game, and that included a story mode because there were pieces of information regarding its correlation with its source material and that it will be faithful to the events of the manga. And yet, not only the logo of the game, but also the art style present in the promotional art was directly tied to the anime version, which on itself is already confusing enough in regards to what's canon or not. But then I found out as time passed that, no, it will not have a story mode and that it will be mainly a multiplayer driven game where you play as an investigator or a ghoul against other parties online. Which makes sense, because of this day, there's still no trailer that shows footage of any story present in the game. So, another red flag there. Great. At least to me, what is the point of playing a Tokyo Ghoul game that doesn't have a story to it? What defines Tokyo Ghoul, it's a story. That's the problem with companies like Bandai Namco Entertainment. Not only they've blundered their marketing for the game, like so many other ones, 
they don't respect or care about the property they're promoting. They just want to get some bucks out of those IPs. And I don't blame the actual crew that works on these games. I blame exclusively Bandai, because they don't give any wriggle room for the creators of the game to do more than a cash grab. Instead of still a cash grab because it's business, but on the forefront, an art form. Tokyo Ghoul is a unique property. You can't give it the same treatment as you did with Black Love or One Piece. A multiplayer-driven Tokyo Ghoul game? Whose idea was that? Tokyo Ghoul is not an action-driven franchise, it's more than that. And it deserves more than that. The creators behind the Storm franchise didn't just focus on the fighting, which is more prominent in stories such as Naruto, like Tokyo Ghoul, but at the same time, it did have a story, and the team working on those games knew about that, and didn't content on just creating a promotional piece for the anime and manga. They've given their all and more to those games, and in many ways surpassed those two already great versions. And once again, and maybe this is why this whole ordeal paints me as much as it does, I have to witness one of my favorite stories being tarnished and go through creative behind the scenes drama. Yeah, it pains me because this could have been something special and in the end, reality had to kick me in the balls again. I really want all versions of the Tokyo Ghoul universe to succeed. And all this drama, all this messy information or lack of there, corporal greed and the fact that there is no release date for this game and that it could actually never see the light of day, damn, it truly breaks my heart. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Have all a great rest of a week, and sayonara.